Greetings and salutations and thank you for clicking on the video. This is an update video of sorts. There are several things that I want to tell you about in this video and some follow-ups to some things that have been posted here on YouTube and Facebook as well. First of all, I want to say that I am completely and totally blown away by the numbers of people who have liked Easy Linux on Facebook and who are subscribed to this YouTube channel. So right now it says that 3,332 people have liked the Facebook page. That is not accurate because while I was getting ready to start the recording of this video, a little message popped up and said somebody else had liked the page. So it's actually at this point 3,333. So that's pretty cool. They have 39,246 subscribers on the YouTube channel. We're almost to 40,000. That's an amazing number to me and it is very much appreciated that so many folks around the world want to watch the videos that I produce and are interested in Linux. So first order of business looking at the Easy Linux Facebook page is the fact that the Bash Scripts page has come back to the Easy Linux page. Uh, originally my idea was is to post code in the open and you could copy and paste it but there was some issues with that people were doing that and then some of the characters didn't go over the way they were supposed to and I investigated how to fix that problem for quite some time and then I decided that probably the best thing to do was to make it where you can download a little zip file that contains the scripts and then you can do whatever you want with it so the page is back and you are more than welcome to give it a look the first thing listed here is CYA which we posted our big long video documentary about not too long ago me and Jeremy O'Connell and you can find out more about CYA here we've had a lot of great reaction from the community to the release of this particular piece of software and some folks just freaked out they just absolutely love it and we've had a couple of people who said that we were trying to tear at the very foundations of Linux so must have done something right there huh so anyway to get a hold of CYA you can come over here and just click on that link and this will take you to the CYA page because it's such a large program it actually has its own page and this is on the cyberweb solutions site and this is uh, where Jeremy O'Connell works and you can come over here and then there are all kinds of interesting little links and information you can download it directly from uh, here or you can download it from uh, the um, github page either way it actually takes you to the same link so it doesn't matter but if you want to look at the github page if you are on github and you want to clone it or something like that there you go you can look at it there so that is cya and if you haven't had a chance to look at it yet you might want to check out that big long video we did the next thing here on the scripts page is a collection of scripts and uh, this is uh, just a zip file that has all of the little scripts that I've talked about here on YouTube over the past few years and most of them have videos that go along with them some of them are more useful than others but they're here if you want to look at them so to get that you would just click here and then it would download a zip file and they're all contained in there along with a nice little readme file that talks about what each one does so that is by request and yes xbt is in here the external backup tool and it is available so you can download that now what i wanted to talk about a little bit in in conjunction with the all of the little programs here the scripts and and what me and uh, Jeremy worked on was the fact that I think it's great that people want to comment on what we do and of course I'm always interested in your ideas and your code fixes and things like that but as I state here on the page I really don't have the resources or the time to run your modifications and test them so if you want to change it, if you want to put it up on GitHub, if you want to give it a new name and do whatever you want with it, that's a big part of the open source community. But I really am not going to be able to help you troubleshoot it or work on it with you because I just don't have the time 
to do those sorts of things these days. And I want to talk more about that at the end of the video as well. So anyway, it's back here. You can get your CYA page and you can also get the uh, Bash Scripts Easy Linux page and as more stuff comes along there'll be more links and little files up here that you can look at so if you keep up with Facebook and the YouTube page then you're pretty much going to know when something like that shows up. So let's scroll down here and talk a little bit more. Um, I had a very interesting interview last week with uh, a fellow named Mirsad and I can't pronounce his last name properly so I'm not even gonna try but anyway he is on Bosnian radio and uh, we did an interview there so if you are from that part of the world and you speak that language uh, you can look for that on YouTube or uh, you can come to the Facebook page here and click on the link to the video I don't host this video it's just here and it was kind of an interesting experience to do that interview uh, most of it is in Bosnian so I really don't know what they said that I said, but you can hear me in the background, so there you go. I just thought I would point that out. Um, Jeremy O'Connell has uh, posted some stuff on GitHub about CYA, some responses to some of the comments that we got there, so you can check that out here as well. Uh, a follow-up on Ubuntu 1710 Artful Aardvark. I have continued to test this in the background on hardware, and I ran into an issue where the video card when the video drivers were installed the proprietary nvidia drivers for it the performance was just horrible and it was very framey and youtube videos were jerky and uh, i tried several different things and i couldn't get that to work so i decided to go ahead and try it with the open source drivers and i was very happy to see that the video performance improved a great deal but then there were certain applications that wouldn't launch and I think that has to do with Wayland so we're still tinkering with that in the background around here but uh, pretty much done with 1710 I'm waiting for 1804 to come out uh, they do definitely still have some work to do but if it works great for you that's great because it really depends on your hardware and it's just because they've changed so much a uh, big announcement from Linux Mint is that they are dropping the KDE desktop at the end of the 18 series so the a link to the Linux Mint blog is here and I talk a little bit about there's uh, many other changes coming up in Linux Mint 18.3 and mixed reactions uh, from a lot of people about that um, so there there's the announcement of CYA and I really think that was all I really wanted to talk about gang it was just so much has happened recently that you know with all of the stuff going on with Ubuntu and the uh, software and the scripts and the work that we've been doing it's just wanted to make sure that if you haven't been following along you know what the deal is uh, so finally I want to uh, before I wrap up the video I just want to make a, a quick little comment um, I am just flattered and humbled at the amount of people who uh, come to the easy Linux page look at the Facebook page here or are part of the YouTube community if you don't want to use Facebook that's entirely up to you um, but I've had many people who have come to me and said Facebook is evil and you are evil for using it and you should not use it and um, I'm going to continue to use it uh, and I'll tell you why because part of the mission of the easy Linux project is to attract new people to Linux and Facebook is extremely popular and if I would turn around and put up a Facebook page or you know a page on some other um, site that didn't get the traffic then it would be pretty much pointless and that's why I'm on Facebook and so there it is uh, the Facebook page actually does quite well and I get a lot of messages through here I also get a lot of messages from people on YouTube in comments and also messages sent to me and through the easy Linux page itself you can email me so with all of those ways to contact me I spend a good deal of my day answering correspondence from people and I do try really really hard to you know get something back to pretty much everybody the only people that I tend to ignore are the ones that um, are obviously trying to make some sort of business deal with me um, and that doesn't have anything to do with you guys the viewers that's people who are trying to get you to 
you know you have a YouTube channel so they want you to join all these networks and do all this crazy stuff and I, I'm not interested in that at all as a matter of fact you may have noticed that the Easy Linux page itself has changed quite a bit from when it was first launched I mean when I first did this I was thinking of trying to build this into a business that would offer uh, you know support for uh, people who uh, want to get started with Linux and then it would be a business type thing and I really need to update this news page don't I because that's like really old I mean I just don't pay that much attention to it I'm sorry uh, but anyway back to my point and that is that it has evolved into something else now it's not a business and I really don't offer the one-on-one -on -one support I would rather not do that because one-on-one -on -one support takes a very long time to work with one person and I am helping a lot more people by just contacting them uh, through email and, and using just giving them little bits and pieces and directing them in the right direction and that sort of thing and so that's what I'm concentrating now but there are some downsides to that and I'm not complaining but you have to understand that it's a very high volume that comes in and so therefore I sometimes I'm not going to be able to give you extremely detailed information a lot of the times I'm going to try and point you in the right direction and uh, people who send very very long messages they run the risk of me not getting back to them for quite some time because those have to be put on the back burner until I have time to read them and and kind of pick through it and see what this person really wants I spend a lot of time looking for question marks I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what people are trying to tell me because uh, a lot of non computer savvy non technical people contact me and sometimes it takes a little bit of detective work to figure it out so yes do take the time to tell me about your computer and about what your problem is and I need it help really helps to know what Linux distribution you're on and what version that is and a little bit about the hardware but at the same time I really don't need paragraphs and paragraphs of information and uh, the, the people that I work with most successfully are those who are just contacting me with little bits and pieces over time as they work their way through and then I try and guide them uh, so I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or anything I'm just letting you guys know that sometimes it's gonna take a while for me to get back to you and, and, and I really don't have a great deal of time to read long things or follow links to other pages that sort of thing uh, it's not that I'm trying to be um, I, I, you know I'm, I don't want to appear to be uh, uh, I don't know what the word is now uh, like I don't care or anything like that but at the same time uh, it, it's a, it's a matter of volume so I'm just letting you guys know that that that's the way this is going right now which is really great because I've I've worked with thousands of people around the world who are learning about Linux and want to learn about Linux and I'm trying to point people in the right direction and uh, one more thing about that is the fact that people ask me a lot of questions about hardware I'm not a hardware guy I know enough to you to do what I need to do with a computer and I run a lot of old computers so I'm not like a techie the kind of techie guy who has all of the latest hardware available to them and things like that no that's not what I do at all I am more involved with software operating systems and things like that so a lot of people ask me hardware questions and I go I really honestly don't know I just cannot and uh, if somebody asks me a question that I don't know I'll tell them I don't know I, I figure if um, I'm not gonna waste your time <laughs> I'm not gonna waste mine either so if um, you ask me a question and I just say I don't know I'm not blowing you off I'm not brushing you off it's the truth I don't I just don't know and you would probably do just as well to go on Google and do a search because if I was going to attempt to answer your question that's probably what I would do but you know I do appreciate hearing from all you guys and uh, I really wish that I had more time to devote to the easy Linux project than I do but it is what it is so as we roll along here uh, it just seems to be getting bigger and better and very gratifying and it's not a business to me 
I think when I first started out, uh, I thought of it maybe developing into a business, but uh, that just never has sat well with me. So now it's going the other direction. This is a very open source project. And if you would like to contribute to the project monetarily, then you can get in touch with me. But as far as uh, demanding a fee for services or anything like that, that is not happening. Easy Linux is uh, free of charge. And if anybody wants to contribute, that's awesome. I know in earlier videos that are posted that I talk about charging a little fee because that was sort of an experiment I did for a while there. But I don't really do that anymore. And uh, it seems to me that not doing that has made this so much more rewarding, which is pretty awesome. Just like working on CYA with Jeremy O'Connell and work talking to people when I offered up the scripts and things like that. So, if this is all new to you, there are links in the description for this video where you can come to the Easy Linux page. You can check it out on Facebook as well. Check out the new Bash scripts. And also, check out FreedomPenguin.com. They are very good friends of the Easy Linux project and they have lots of great stories about Linux and uh, other things that Matt Hartley offers there as well. So that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being a part of the Easy Linux community and I'm really looking forward to the future because uh, things just seem to be getting bigger and better all the time.